Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Jason. So, uh, today's episode is going to consist of uh, some chem dip uh, cleaning, I guess carbon cleaner, uh, to clean off a, uh, a head that I've been working on um, for a uh, all-motor GSR build, uh, 12 to 8 compression ratio, I believe. Um, anyways, uh, so I got to brag on this chem dip stuff for a little bit. Uh, so I rigid these these valves. I don't have any uh, before or after pictures, but uh, just to let you know, these valves um, they were built up with carbon pretty damn bad. I mean, pretty freaking bad. And um, so uh, put the chem dip in there, let it sit for about give or take two and a half hours, maybe three. Um, so I came back out here, got a toothbrush and scrubbed it off. I should have bought me a wire brush, but I had uh, other priorities to take care of today. But uh, anyways, I uh, got a toothbrush, started scrubbing, and I think that it could come off a little bit more if I had a wire brush, but I wasn't available to go get a wire brush today. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm going to, I guess, uh, sh turn around, and I did a little nice uh, head resurface here at the house, so I'll talk about that and uh, show you exactly what we did, and flip the camera around, show you all what we got going on, and yeah. So originally these valves all look like this one right here number four um, which are pretty cake caked pretty bad I mean there's still some on there I'm gonna get a wire brush tomorrow and just you know scuff it up clean it up more um, but for the most part look at all these valves clean 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 these uh, these I guess these two outer ones on number one and number four uh, they have a little bit of them number I guess a uh, number one also but for the majority of it from what they look like before to what they look like now are pretty damn clean so that chem dip stuff uh, good stuff good stuff uh, so I'll tell you all exactly how I did it so I kept the spark plugs in there plugged the hole to where there's no seepage you know you couldn't have anything seep out and uh, poured chem dip individually in each combustion chamber let it sit for about give or take two and a half hours and uh, came back out here. It says not to let it sit for four uh, because I guess the aluminum's porous, so it might absorb a lot of that chem dip stuff in, which probably wouldn't be good. I don't know. So, anyways, did all this stuff. Came out here with the toothbrush. Here's a toothbrush right here, just regular to old toothbrush that we don't use anymore. Cleaned all that shit out, and I put some chem dip right here along the outer surface of the head. And, uh, I mean, as y'all could tell, it cleaned it up pretty damn good. All I did was got me a, a little wire wire wheel on my uh, drill we got right here. And uh, went around all the edges, just eck eating, eating off all the excess stuff. And uh, it left no abrasions. It left no scuffs, no nothing. I mean, you could tell where the head's been milled before. But, I mean, other than that, it's pretty damn good. These chambers right here, these combustion chambers, from what they look like before to what they are now, just a total night and day difference. So, if y'all want to clean y'all's valves, this would be a good DIY. I mean, I think that chem dip stuff cost about 27 bucks, and it works pretty dang good. So, yeah, that's some, that's some good stuff. I'd, I'd definitely recommend it to, to people to use again. Um, what else was I going to say? I forgot what else I was going to say, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's all that. I know I'm not wearing gloves. I had my black gloves on, but I took them off. It got pretty damn hot. It's been a hot day here in Texas. Got a bunch of rain last night, so with the rain comes humidity. And I mean, right here in the garage, it's probably a good 98, maybe 100 degrees. Kind of sweating. Hair's all messy. Long hair don't care. YOLO. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's this today's video. So, uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. It's probably going to be useful to some people. Um, if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. That way, we notify you every time that I upload a video. And, yeah, we'll catch you all on the next one, guys. Hopefully, next one, we got stuff coming in for this uh, all motor build and be putting the motor together, showing y'all all that good shit. And, yeah, so catch y'all later. Peace.